Your name J. G. J. Jesus. Yes. Only appears on our alphabet as of 500 years ago. So the question way before 1,500 years prior to that. So the question is, if on the Hebrew charts and on hieroglyphics and on Italian writings and Greek writings, J is not there. What is the agenda of the Catholic system converting from Yeshua to Joshua? And as if that is not enough, the first rule of academic excellence in terms of translations of scripture, okay. you don't translate a name. You don't translate a name. It's a crime. Mount Carmel remains Mount Carmel. Hence, slavery was the biggest crime to take away people's names. Moses remains Moses. Right. You don't translate a name. So if you teach me as an academician and say, this is the rule that you must follow. Right. Then how come when I get on your sure? The, the name is translated to Jesus and it's non consequential. Do you think there's an agenda to dilute the true scriptures of what the Bible is supposed to be? Was there an agenda to even minimize African significance in the Bible? If we can go back on the text itself, you would find that the European does not appear on the text. Let's agree on that as a start off point. The only time you see the European appearing on the text is on writings such as the Roman, which is a New Testament phenomenon. That Paul, Herod, okay. When Yeshua was born, he was being taken to be counted by by the Roman Empire. Then the Romans start appearing in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. In fact, they don't appear as much except as oppressors. The crucifixion of Yeshua happens in the hands of the Romans, mm -hmm. who are the Europeans. If you look just on the crucifixion weekend, yes, as to who crucified him, who carried the cross, who buried him. You will end up with two criminals and, and Yeshua dying between two thieves in the east and in the west. And Africa being at the center of the cross, we have thieves from the east, we have thieves from the west. The question is how are we dealing with the Chinese, how are we dealing with the Americans? But that's more at a spiritual level. 100%. But in the history space itself, Joseph of Arimathea, Simon of Cyrene, and etc., people who come to rescue Yeshua on the cross are fellow black people. How so? Simon was from? Cyrene. Cyrene is Sudan. So this is true in your uh, evidence of yes. there were Africans at the time of crucifixion. Really? But what could be their presence be there for? Was Jesus their brotherhood? Or uh, We will need to, at, um, uh, yes, I hear where you're going. We will need to look back into the birth of this young man born in the, and by the way, Middle East only becomes Middle East as of the 1950s when the Suez Canal is dug to separate North Africa with what we now call Middle East. Correct. We are literally separated by a canal. But the platonics and the, the formation of the continent, mm -hmm. Africa includes the name J.